Back here in Jacksonville, days after a fire broke out in this home in the Moncrief neighborhood this week, the mayor announced a new position dedicated to teaching people fire safety. It also comes after five people have died in house fires in the city. On your side, Haley Harrison has more details on that announcement and spoke with an emergency dispatcher who helped save the life of a woman just a few days ago. The first thing I heard was screaming. Dispatcher Alonda Oates answered the call of a woman whose house was on fire Monday night on West 13th Street in Moncrief. During the call, she could hear the woman struggling to breathe. Okay, try to try your best to block, use the towels or something like that to block the smoke from coming in. They're coming. Uh, Ma'am, they're coming. Try your best to remain calm. Oates sent firefighters to the home while remaining on the phone for 10 minutes with the woman, providing her comfort and assurance. Then I heard them coming through the door, man, there's no, no happier feeling that comes over you when you know that the guys are there, and, you know, they're doing their thing. The woman and two others all made it out. The fire was one of 40 in Jacksonville so far this January, resulting in five deaths, eight injuries, and close to a dozen rescues. The Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department says it usually averages about 30 calls a month. With the busy and deadly start to 2022, Thursday the city announced a new position aimed at preventing future fires. That position is going to go out. He's going to coordinate. She, he or she, whichever one is chosen, is going to go out and coordinate the uh, the walk that's going to happen around that neighborhood as we canvass that neighborhood and make sure those folks have the information to be safe and to have smoke detectors installed. Fire Chief Keith Power says they're looking to make a promotion internally in about two weeks. And as for the hero, Oates says she was just doing her job. Here is a person who's in need of help and you are in a position to help her or him. So that's what I was doing. I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.